It'll, oh my gosh, I just washed these. Hello, it's Tuesday. You are watching Tasty Tuesday, a show where it's Tuesday and I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Okay, so I have been reading your comments on Tasty Tuesday videos. I tend to do that. Usually in the first hour, I will respond to them. So if you are watching, maybe comment, leave a comment. Maybe I'll respond to you. See what happens. Live a little, live a lot. I don't know your life. Anyway, I've been reading your comments and a lot of you have asked, what is like a typical go-to meal for you? Like on a weekly basis, what's like a regular everyday thing that you make to eat? And uh, also request to do what I ate in a day videos, which maybe I'll get around to, but I don't know. What I eat in a day is like pretty boring. It's also like super healthy healthy like or like healthy there's really a lot of definitions of what healthy is I don't really want to have a debate about it but it's like relatively pretty healthy on a daily basis and pretty boring compared to normal tasty Tuesday videos tasty Tuesday for me is like my fun meal of the week it's like it's like a wild hair up my ass for the week I don't know where that saying came from it is not appetizing on a food show but we used it so can't take it back no take back so today what I thought would be fun is to make one of the meals that I meal prep and and this is like one of my staples that I make and it's from Minimalist Baker. It's a 10 minute raw vegan walnut taco meat wrapped in a collard green. It's like a burrito, but made of plants. It's like a really hippie healthy food. Like there's the difference between healthy, like Atkins healthy and like hippie healthy. This one's like real hippie. So I don't think Steve hasn't ever tried anything like this and I'm really excited to see what he feels about it. By the way, I think it's very tasty. And if you are into that hippie healthy, I think you would enjoy this plant burrito very much. Let's make this dish. Step one. What I like most about this is this recipe is very quick. It's like very, uh, well, I don't want to jinx myself, but it's a pretty fast recipe. We're going to start with these sun-dried tomatoes, okay, tomatoes. And uh, we're going to have two-thirds of a cup. We're going to put it in a little small bowl, and we're going to soak it in warm water for five minutes. That's just in case any of these bad boys got hard while they're in the cabinet. Wow, my mind went straight to the gutter. We're going to make some nut meat today. <laughs> okay, I have my sun-dried tomatoes in a little bowl with water. Next, we are going to take a food processor and put three cups of walnut. Raw ass walnut. These are California premium walnut halves. Suck on that. Don't suck on that. I need them. Three cups. All right, three cups of walnuts. Wow. I can just smell the trail of nature that we're hiking currently. This is so hippie. We're gonna pulse this into a semi-fine meal, but not into like, make sure you don't make a nut butter out of it. That's right, nut butter, don't make it. You butter nut. <laughs> That was really easy. See, if you like health food, this is your jam. Some larger chunks are okay to have here. You just wanna get it like this. So it's like ground and kind of a meal, but not like you can't spread this. Then we're gonna take our walnut meal and we're going to put it into a medium sized mixing bowl. I'm gonna set that aside. Put all these mono meals just getting, getting set aside like this. Then, this part's tricky. Get ready for it. We're gonna drain the sun dried tomatoes, but we're gonna reserve this water for a later time. So we're gonna try to, I don't know, I'm I'm thinking something like, we're gonna try to do this. Am I done? Probably. Let's do it anyway. I'm gonna do it over the sink. That's a smart move. Oh yes, that was very smart. It got everywhere. Make sure you get the water everywhere. Sun dried tomatoes? Put those in the mixer. Wait for the next step. What do you call a food processor? Put those in the food processor. Also to this food processor, we're gonna add the following ingredients. Four cloves of garlic or five or 17, whatever you please. It's your hippie plant burrito. I'm gonna put only five cloves of garlic because Steve will be eating this and he's not as much of a fan of garlic as me because he's like I he's a freak. He's a, kind of a freak. I don't know who doesn't like 29 cloves of garlic in their meal, but Steve is one of them. Half a teaspoon of sea salt. Gotta be sea salt. Can't be that regular salt. You gotta have, we're hippies. Gotta be the salt you find in nature in the sea. Better if you could get this from your local ocean. One tablespoon of smoked paprika. We want this to be real smoky. Like we just started our own campfire and it's not even a campsite. It's just, it's just a forest. That's what we want this to taste like. Fresh, mmm. Fresh Fresh campsite. Yes, it does smell like that. Confirmed. One tablespoon of ground cumin. Cumin smells like, mm, yes, this smells like exactly what our bodies smell like after hiking for a few hours to get to that campsite. Keeping it real healthy, real hippie. Let's do it. By the way, I tried making this before without the cumin. Don't do it. Definitely need that cumin. Are we cumin? 
of all we dance. Oh, excuse me. One tablespoon of chili powder. I don't know how this really relates to the hippie theme. Maybe we're hiking through Mexico, New Mexico. Yeah. New Mexicans, answer in the comments. You have trails, yes, to hike in? Also, old Mexicans, you, you feel free to comment too. Two teaspoons of coconut sugar. Mine is organic coconut sugar because, hello, we're doing this recipe. You can omit this. It says if you are trying to avoid sugar. I actually am trying to avoid sugar right now, kind of, but guess what? I get a treat today. Two teaspoons. It's like getting the little chocolate chips in your trail mix. You know, most of it's healthy, but then you get a little treat in there. Cute. Next, we're gonna add a habanero pepper or two, it says. I've never even added one before because I'm not a spice person, but guess who is a spice person? My husband, Steve Paul Green. And so I, just for him, just for you, Steve, if you are watching, I have diced and de-seeded this habanero pepper and hopefully my mouth doesn't catch on fire. But if it does, it makes sense because we started a fire. What? Keep up. And we're gonna do one to two teaspoons of nutritional yeast. I am doing one because I think that's all that's left in there. So then we're just gonna pulse this until a smooth paste is formed and then we're gonna add water one tablespoon at a time until it becomes pourable. Yay. Paste. Are you paste yet? No, not even close. Get to work. Okay, this part may take some time. Amuse yourself while I form a paste, a smooth paste, BRB. Okay, I think this is about as pasty as it's gonna get for me. Do you see, do you see this? It's like almost a paste, but not quite. Like me when I haven't gone hiking in a few months. Almost pasty, almost. I still got a tinge of melanin, don't worry. At this point, I think I'm just gonna start adding some water back in. So remember that water that we reserved? Ooh, hello, I've reserved you. Did you forget? We're gonna add it in one tablespoon at a time until it becomes poor. It says in the recipe it'll end up being about a fourth a cup, but we're gonna basically pulse after each tablespoon, or maybe after each two tablespoons. Yeah, get some liquid in there. Get pasty. Oh, that didn't do much. More, more water. Stay hydrated when you're hiking up those trails. I don't know. How long can we make this hiking theme go? I think we're all over it, probably. Let's just add some water. Amuse yourself while I turn this into a pourable liquid form. BRB. Are you amusing yourself? We'll come back, because we have some more work to do. <laughs> some more, some more. We have not killed the camping thing yet. All right, we have a, maybe kind of a pourable-ish liquid right now. It's not, it's like a sauce. It's like a pasta sauce. Yeah, it's like a sauce. Sauces are pourable. Whatever it is, it looks like the picture. So we are going to move on and create our nut meat. That's right, nut meat. Grow up, if it was what you thought that you were thinking of, that would be meat nut, and that would get us demonetized. We are not talking about that. It's a family channel. It's not. Nut meat, let's do this. Wow, 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 look at that pour. That is such a ploppy pour, but it's still a pour. Oh yeah, did I mention we're pouring this into our bowl of walnut meal? Okay, and then we're just gonna mix it in here. Super easy. I like easy. Okay, great. And our raw nut meat is ready. Let's make a plant burrito. Grow up. Okay, to make our plant burritos, we're gonna be using these green collards to wrap our plant burrito. Now, I recommend getting the largest ones you can find. These are really tiny. These are pretty small ones. Um, the place that I went to did not have a good selection, so we're stuck with these like very small sample size burritos. M little plant taquitos. That's better because this is Steve's first time trying it, so you know, we'll give him a sample size. But normally you can get like really, really big ones, like really long ones, really long ones, and size does matter. Grow up. We're gonna do like a little assembly line. First, we're gonna de-stem these and de-vein them. Not veins, but like this little poppy out part. We don't want it, we want it to be really flat. So we're just gonna kinda like knife it. These are very technical terms. We're gonna knife it until it gets flat. It'll, oh my gosh, I just washed these. Oh yeah, make sure you wash these really well. Okay, so once our uh, thing is de-stemmed and de-trimmed and all that stuff, you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna start to put our ingredients in. I only have three ingredients. In her recipe, there's any ingredients and there's like queso dip that she has that's really cool, but it's made with cashews and I just feel like that's a lot of nuts for this recipe. It's kind of nuts. <laughs> but I do like these three ingredients. Just keeping it very simple. So for ours, we're gonna have our nut meat and avocado, of course, can't not avocado, and uh, Steve's hot salsa. This, I don't know how hot this is. It might be too hot for me, but I don't know. We'll try it. We'll run with it. Hey, it's a wild hair day. Up my ass day. And we're just gonna lay these ingredients along like a burrito. Like you've made a burrito. Haven't you made a burrito? New Mexicans, feel free to comment. Also, old 
Mexican. Feel free to comment. Also, I don't even think burritos are technically Mexican, right? A lot of Mexican people are like, that's not Mexican food. So maybe, you know, non-Mexicans also comment. I'm gonna put it like a sale. And then a couple slices of avocado. If these were bigger, I'd put more ingredients, obviously. And then some salsa. Do that queso though that she has in her recipe is so good. I've done it before. I just don't want to overwhelm the hippiness in this burrito. So let's just keep it simple. Okay, and then we're just going to make a burrito. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then it looks like this. Huh? Some everyday food right here? Yeah. People food. This is the kind of shit that makes you go, oh, maybe I could live on a compound and like grow my own food. And then you're like, oh no, but I love TV so much. And then you stop thinking about that. All right, I'm just gonna make these until they're all done. And then we're gonna see if Steve likes them. Stay tuned. Amuse yourself. And here we go. Look at that plate of hippie food. Yum. I'm excited about it. Personally, this is like three days worth of little meals. I'll probably eat two in a meal. Well, unless they get eaten tonight. I don't want to predict the future. Let's go find out what the future is. Oh, also you can use that nut meat for like salads, tacos, anything your little hippie heart desires. Let's see what Steve thinks. Okay, pick whichever little plant burrito you would like. I gotta say, it smells like tacos in here. Yeah? Hell yeah. Which is tight. Is that what this is supposed to be? Yeah. It's a, a very healthy plant burrito. How's that taste? Healthy. Yeah. <laughs> it's very carb friendly. <laughs> yeah. Steve's been watching his carbs, so. I have been. You've never tried any of my like normal everyday food, right? Well, sometimes no. I get a bite of yours or whatever. Yeah. Usually I pass when you make the acai bowl or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm you like, I'm set. You don't like fruit. Well, whatever that is. The, pa the fruit, <laughs> fruit paste or acai. whatever. It's something that a white trash person like me should love like a fruit roll up looking thing i'm like oh shit. <laughs> i get it but no it it's doesn't very work. healthy granola looking this though it's good yeah i like it you like it I, maybe it's my wow breath. i'm like uh, honestly impressed there's a habanero pepper in there yeah. and there's it's, a it's got a kick to it yeah. and also it tastes like what how i've been eating lately which is clean yeah wow how boring of you thank you but it tastes good Sick. i mean maybe my days was are warped by the oh my god thing. it's tasty <laughs> yes see i think these are tasty i like them right. but i do know yeah, they they are healthy tasting but they're tasty but they're healthy tasty but they're like good i kind of actually i can eat this every day exactly yeah. after a few days of eating uh this nut meat i actually craved it like you crave the nut meat yeah i crave the nut meat <laughs> i always so crave sick. that nut that's meat. so sick baby he needs to grow up okay look at it but i want everyone to know he went for a second oh yeah i'm gonna eat this shit right, right oh in, 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 in a quick jet i'm relatively did. surprised so it was 50 50 for me on how you'd react because i know that you've been eating like clean and boring like we just really bland yes. like you have mean pl bland chicken and stuff like Meat. that and so because of all the spices in this i felt like maybe you would like it yeah it's exotic. but then the other part of me was like maybe he doesn't like the collard green saladiness of it no so. no no i like it oh. yeah i love this mm -hmm. it's tasty it's less impressive when you do it because i'm the How unique outsider mm -hmm. yeah it's good there you go yeah it was deep green you brought humanity to it yay mm. all right well so there you go these are really good definitely add those spices in there it's really flavorful if you're looking for a healthy go-to meal, you can meal prep these. You can have them just in your fridge, and then when you're hungry, you just grab one. They're really right. easy to take to go too, and like a little Tupperware thing. Thank you, Minimalist Baker. I'll leave the recipe in the description. There's a lot of other things that she makes that are really good, and you should check it out. Well, you know what I say? What? I say thank you, Nikki Lima. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hold on, Joe's on the hunt. We can't cut yet. What we, are you hunting, Joe? We, we can't cut. He's on the hunt. He's been hunting mosquito catchers. We can't cut. Okay.